home of Tennessee's best newscast. This is News Channel 11 at 11. Tri-Cities investigators tonight are still getting widespread reports of vandalism caused by a slingshot. Good evening, I'm Josh Smith. And I'm Sarah Diamond. Our top story tonight at 11, a crime spree across the Tri-Cities. Johnson City Police and Washington County, Tennessee deputies are investigating this damage. And officers arrested Joseph D. Christina and Dakota Shell on Indian Ridge Road after they received several cars about car and business windows being shot out. Both are in jail tonight in Jones Road, charged with several several counts of reckless endangerment and vandalism. They're also charged with one count of aggravated assault. Police told us several businesses filed reports related to this incident. DeCristina and Shell reportedly used a slingshot to shoot metal ball bearings at the businesses. They include Bear and Friends on North Rhone Street and Chick-fil-A on People Street, both in Johnson City. News Channel 11's Justin Soto is live tonight at Bear and Friends. Yeah, Justin, proof of what happened still pretty visible. Yeah, guys, I want to give you a better look here at the aftermath here at Baron Friends Toy Shop. Take a look at this window pane. As you can see, the first layer is gone. The remnants of that steel ball still remains on the second window pane. And as you can see, glass shattered throughout after that first window pane was blown out by that steel ball here this evening. And the owner, Debbie Gray, tells me that if it wasn't for this second pane here, that steel ball could have hit her or one of her customers right in the head. Customers standing here. Kids are here in the front and they're playing. What started out as a normal day for Debbie Gray, owner of Baron Friends. My employee Laura and I are here behind the counter. Turned into a nightmare when she heard pop. Look, our whole front window shattered. There is a hole in the glass right here. The outer pane of her window shattered, even bowing out. Police say two men went on a shooting spree using a slingshot and steel ball bearings. Their car spotted and pulled over by the Washington County Sheriff's Office on Indian Ridge Road. The two were taken into custody. They said that they were the ones. He found a slingshot, then there were some ball bearings. We did confirm that they were the ones that were doing that. But that's not all they say they found. We discovered a large amount of marijuana and uh, some marijuana laced chocolate. The duo is also facing reckless endangerment and drug possession charges in the county where damage reports came from multiple homeowners. And back in Johnson City, Chick-fil-A and Vision Works are two of the more than 10 businesses with damage. It was just mayhem. It was crazy. Gray is happy everyone's OK, but wants to know why. It was a senseless act uncalled for for our community for a toy store. It was just uncalled for. And tonight I'm told the motive behind this is still unclear at this point, and this is all still under investigation. And Johnson City Police say these two suspects will be arraigned in Washington County Court tomorrow. Reporting live in Johnson City, Justin Soto, News Channel 11, in your corner. An East Tennessee State University spokesperson tells us one of the school's faculty members was hit with a ball bearing, but that person was not injured.